In 2019, Clark Fork Coalition, Defenders of Wildlife, and National Wildlife Federation started a pilot project to increase tolerance for beavers in western Montana. Our goal is to keep beavers on the landscape where they are beneficial to ecosystems while working closely with landowners, agencies, and conservation organizations to address beaver concerns in a non-lethal manner. By helping landowners to tolerate beavers where they are appropriate, an increasing understanding of the important role beavers play in ecosystem health, our watersheds will be more resilient. Hi, I'm Will McDowell with the Clark Fork Coalition, and we're working on a beaver conflict resolution project. We're in the second summer of work. The first year we did pilot projects, and those projects uh, have been a great example and a training location for people who have beaver conflict problems. We've got problems on private land. We've got problems on state and county roads with culverts and drainage systems. We've got problems on public parks. Beavers are equal opportunity nuisance animals in many cases. So we are working to train more people to tackle these problems in a sustainable way. My name is Alyssa Chat, and I work for the Clark Fort Coalition as a beaver conflict resolution field specialist. And last year we did a workshop that involved Deer Lodge County Roads, Montana, transportation, fish, wildlife, and parks, various nonprofits, and some UM students to address nuisance beaver concerns. This year we're working with Deer Lodge County, Missoula County, Lewis and Clark County, various private landowners through Blackfoot Challenge, Five Valleys Land Trust, and also with Montana Rail Link. We're at Lost Creek State Park. This road culvert was being plugged by beavers and the water level was being raised next to the road by about a foot. So it went from, it was here all the way up to there. And it was running, the water was running along the road and continually um, causing issues for park maintenance. This is a year post installation at this culvert. So here are the culvert edges, and then the intake or the pipe outlet goes through the intake of the culvert. But beavers have come and dammed along this edge of the fence, and that's okay. We knew that they were gonna come and do that. So we set the pipe at the level where we wanted the water to drain to. And so some of it's flowing over the dam, but most of it is being carried through the fence by this pipe. We installed a pond leveler at this pond 11 months ago. It's working really well. There's a road behind us that was being flooded out. So we dropped the pond level about 10 inches. We have several more of these plans with Deer Lodge County later in this season. Here's the pipe going through the dam. And then there's the intake out into the pond. This headgate exclusion fence took us about an hour and a half to make last October. It's made with cattle panels and T posts but it keeps beavers out away and they're not damming at the head gate anymore. And it's lasted an irrigation season worth of buildup here. And so it's gonna take me about five or 10 minutes to clean it off, but it's still functioning as intended, even with a little bit of buildup. We're on the east side of Deer Lodge Valley of Perkins Gulch at the request of some ranchers. They lease this plot from DNRC and we're in the middle of an aspen grove that recently had beavers move back into the area and since they only have aspen to eat we're going to um, wrap some of the trees and then leave others for the beaver browse but since it's only aspen they could come in and um, literally wipe out the entire grove but we're going to protect some trees and leave others um, for the beavers. The Clark Fork Coalition has been collaborating with the Deer Lodge Valley Conservation District for a number of years now on various projects. This one we're really excited about because simple technology that people can apply in lots of different scenarios from ranch scenarios like this irrigation ditch head gate to uh, roads, culverts, state properties, county properties, infrastructure, everything in the rural environment that's affected by beavers. So we're interested in getting more information out to the public about this technology and that's part of what this project is about is training people and getting the word out that these pilot projects really work.